I need words. <laughs> Everything is as it should be. Didn't sleep much last night, did you? Look, do you want me to call Universal later and tell them what happened? No, I'll do that. Then. You won't know. Why I was listening to that? Oh, God, it's for the Juilliard. I knew this would arrive today. Do you want to open it? No, I... darling, it has your name on it. Yeah. My hands are shaking. Mine too, baby. Ah, oh, dear George, Julia. I got in. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I got in! <laughs> baby. Oh, don't sound so pleased. You got in, Yorgos. I'm happy for you, okay? No, you're not. You're out of rehearsal. I'm your mother, Yorgos, not your friend. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Where are we going to get the money from? Hmm? I was working when I was your age. This is not about the money. You can't see what it is that I want. That's not true. I honestly don't know how you can go and spend three years in America with no money. I'm telling you how it is. Yeah, and I don't want to hear it. I got into the Juilliard. God, this is so mental. It's everything I've ever worked for, and you're just pissing all over my dreams. I'm going. You get talk off. to me like I'm a piece of dirt. I'm your flesh and blood and I love you. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, well, I'm not dying, Mum. I'm going to college, just like everybody else. But you're not everybody else. You're my baby. I'm not. And that is just it. I'm not. <laughs>
I want to do everything I can to help. I'll do anything. Uh, yeah, uh, Mum, this was just pushed through the door. <laughs> well, there must be thousands of pounds there. Who's it from? <laughs> the note, there was no note. <laughs> oh, God. I think it's from Miss Trivet, you know. That's her handwriting. How dare she? Thinks I'm a bad mother. I'm oh, not she doesn't mind. Right, she forget doesn't... rehearsals today, darling. Give me five minutes. She thinks I'm useless. She knows nothing. <laughs> oh, yesterday morning I was having a lovely half dream where Handel was showing me his organ works. <laughs> <laughs> I could see a woman hovering above me. It was Fanny Mendelssohn. What with next door hoovering and Fanny hovering, I thought, oh, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> Anything to draw attention to herself, that one. So there she is, mouthing something to me. Miss Trivet, Miss Trivet, she's saying. Here we go, I thought, keeping one eye closed. Now, the spirit world is supposed to have nothing to do with monetary gain. But there she is, giving me a tip on Tinker's Wharf, running in the 12.30 at Epsom. <laughs> I've never been into a bookies in my life. My father was a Methodist. But Fanny was so emphatic that I found myself in William Hills on the high street handing over my pension. I'd uh, forgotten that Stacy Clegg works in there on a Saturday. Well, she she kindly helped me fill out the chit. How's the poulet coming along, dear? I asked, as if everything was normal. It sounds the same whether I play it wrong or not, Miss Trivet, she replied, chewing. <laughs> I have a tendency to agree with her on that one. <laughs> anyway, afterwards. I popped into Dulcie's for my shoes. Well, I must have been in there, what, uh, about 20 minutes. And in comes Stacy on her break. Your horse came in then, she announces, loud enough for Irene Phelps and Janice Proctor to hear it out. <laughs> there I am, moments later, with £4,537 in news notes. I sent it over to the Mortimers. Well, Schubert said I shouldn't, but well, I mean, they need it far more than I do. It'll go towards young George's college fees. Oh, yes, Schubert, where have you been? I'm getting a rather worrying itinerary, thanks to you, and we need to practice. Oh, look, look, the shoes. I've got those. Sweet Peggy, I... What? What? What is it? Oh, no. You're not cross with me for sending that money over to the Mortimers, are you? What? Oh, no, no. No. What then? Oh, come in, come in now. It's open, love. Oh, Mrs. Mortimer. I don't know what your game is. Sorry. What are you playing at? We don't need your charity. Oh, stop, Mum. For God's sake. Here, take your money. We don't need it. And I don't need you filling my son's head with rubbish, you hear? Oh, please. Oh, it's okay, George, it's okay. Look, I'm, I'm really so sorry. I have my pride, you know, and I am capable of caring for my son. Yes, of course, I didn't think. You may have nothing but him, but I have my pride. Yes, Despina, dear, look. Look, I feel most dreadful. Come on, Mum, let's go home. I'm really sorry, Miss Trivet. I... No, 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 George. 